sorry I haven't um, like updated lately because I don't like updating on anybody's home other than my husband. So I have to wait till other people leave. So this is the first day I'm here by myself. So that's why my video is like five days late. But anyways, um, I didn't make a list, so I'm kind of winging this. So it, I might take a little while longer. Um, I guess I'll start off with what exciting stuff I got. Uh, me and Riley got our first baby outfit, complete excited. Um, of course, they're neutral. I'll show them to you guys. Um, actually, in the when we first found out we were pregnant, my mother-in-law bought us some bibs, and they're it's funny because they're actually really girly, and I think it's a girl, and Riley thinks it's a boy, but I'll show them to you. There's this one. It says my daddy rock. So cute, purple and pink. And then it's this one. My dad's a hottie, because he is. Um, uh, that one. And then the baby outfits are so cute. We got them at Sears on, like, kind of, well, no, they weren't on sale, but they were so cheap. There's this one. Got the cows and the monkeys and the sheep and the kanga. And it's just got, it's really cute. cute. Oh. It says, it just says what they are in little pictures of them. And it's kind of pretty gender neutral. Um, and then this one's my favorite. It's so cute. Riley likes the other one, but this one's my favorite because I picked it up. Oh, and the other one was like six bucks. Or seven bucks. It was cheap. And then there's this one. First, I'll show you the top. This is kind of close, so I can't show you. The bib says, What's up, duck? And it's got two little ducks on it. And then underneath it, it's really cute. It has the pattern of the shirt. And it comes with socks. And there's a little long sleeve onesie. It says things like what's up duck and follow me and a little bee buzzing and frogs and it's really cute. And then it has little little yellow pants to go with it and it says quack right here. So I thought that was really cute. It was my fave. Riley was like, he's not wearing them, blah blah blah. Notice how he said he he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a girl. Not literally, I mean, we really don't know, but... Oh, and this one has little feet. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, basically we've been arguing about what the baby is. Pretty positive it's a girl. He's pretty positive it's a boy. Really, we both don't know. It's 50-50 chance, so... Yeah, one of us is right. Um, but I had, like, a dream last night that, uh... Sorry. I had a dream last night that... Not, ol not only was it a girl, but uh, they came early, like like literally in my dream I dreamt all this, it was like so hardcore and real I thought it was like really happening. The baby came at 36 weeks, and it was a girl, and she had my eyes, and she had, well, it's hard to tell if she had my hair, Riley's hair, when Riley was little, he had really light hair, like blondish brown, and now he has like super dark hair, but I've always had dark hair, I've always had like these are my dyed hair, but really, really dark. I've always had, like, really dark, dark brown hair. So, yeah, that was exciting. And she was so tiny, and it was a girl. And that's probably why Riley didn't want to hear my dream, because he didn't want to hear me say it was a girl. Um, what else? I'm being a really bad pregnant woman. I am being horrible about taking my prenatals like bad, like I'll go a couple of days without taking them, because either I'll forget, or by the time I remember to take them, it's like 10.30 at night, and if I take them, I'm not going to be able to sleep, and I have to get Riley up in the morning, so it's not like I can't not sleep at night, because then I won't get up to wake him up and make his lunch, uh, it's so stupid, so last night, I promised myself a baby and God that I would start taking my prenatals every day, at a set time, um, so hopefully... I hold up to my promise, because I know that's not good for the baby. But if I do forget, if I forget to take the actual prenatal, I'll go grab my Flintstone vitamins, and I'll take those. Because, I mean, they've got, they don't, they might not have everything that that has in it, but, you know, it's enough vitamins. You know, it's got everything, it's got, like, most of what the prenatal has in it. And I've heard a lot of women say well, if they couldn't swallow their prenatal, they would take Flintstone vitamins. Mine are chewable, my prenatals. And, like, the more I take them, the nastier they get. I mean, I want to, like, I gag when I chew them. 
I'm getting to the point where I'm like, screw it, let me choke and swallow the other ones so I don't have to taste them, but I won't. I'm too much of a baby. I can't even take time off. Um, what else? I want to tell y'all something. And y'all tell me if y'all ever experienced this. A lot of people were telling me oh, that doesn't sound pregnancy related, but whatever. Um, Sunday night, I think it was, or Monday, I don't know. Well, I've been having like some back pain, some upper back pain. And it got really, really bad, bad on Sunday night. I mean, it hurt all, it hurt all down the middle of my back. It came around to the shoulders and then it came around to my left side. And, I mean, it hurt in my chest, like, all in here, and it came in here, and it was, like, stabbing me, like, it felt like someone had a knife, and they were just like, Ugh. it hurt so bad, I mean, I was crying, and people say you don't really have to worry about pain unless it keeps you up at night, well, this kept me up, like, I'd go to sleep, and I'd wake up, I'd go to sleep, and I'd wake up, and, and I'd wake up because I was in pain, just like that migraine that I had, I'd go to sleep, and I'd wake up because my head hurt. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, what is wrong? Because, you know, I told you guys I'm a hypochondriac. I have OCD. My OCD, by the way, is horrible now that I'm pregnant. It's crazy. I'm about to just, like, off myself. It's horrible. I hate it. Not really. I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, um, anyway, the next day, it wasn't as bad. It had calmed down, but my back still hurt really, really bad. And it's not lower back, it's upper back. And in between my shoulder blades, and and I'll get it in my breastbone, too. And I'll, it'll, it, it generally stays to the left side, but it'll move to the right. And it's just awful, awful pain. And it's calmed down a lot this week, but I still can't get the back pain to go away. I mean, it, it's dulled to, like, not so bad and tolerable. It's not so bad when I wake up, but as the day goes on and progresses, it gets worse, and it starts to hurt. That's why I end up in bed at like 10 or 9, because my back hurts, and I can't get comfortable, and it's just, uh, that's another thing. I thought you weren't supposed to get uncomfortable in sleep when you're pregnant until like way further along, and I am so uncomfortable when I sleep. I cannot get into a comfortable position. All I do is toss and turn. I wake up so much. I, I have so many sleep disturbances, it's not even funny. Like, it's horrible. I wake up, like, every hour, every other hour. And it used to be because I had to pee, and now it's not even because I have to pee anymore. It's just because I'm uncomfortable, or, you know, and having Riley's big old self. I mean, we have a queen size bed, we still can't get along. We should have gotten a king. I knew it. Because <laughs> he'll elbow me in the face, or, because he sleeps like this his arms all up and he'll bring it down real fast and he'll like elbow drop me in my face. It's very annoying. Um, he did that last night actually. And then he'll snore and that'll wake me up. It's like I'm on pins and needles. Like I can't slip into REM sleep and when I do it's after he's gone to work. And that's only for like a few minutes. Um, what else? I'm probably going to have to make a two-parter because I'm kind of rambling on and forgetting what I'm saying already. Hmm. Anyways, um, oh, next week on August 11th, oh, this is week 9, by the way, I forgot, I probably didn't tell you all that, um, so yay, anyways, next week, it'll be week 10, instead of making my video on Sunday, I'm gonna make it on Tuesday, when I get back from my ultrasound. It'll be my, I mean, I've had an ultrasound before from my sister-in-law, but this is like my first doctor ultrasound, my pap smear, physical exam, all that good stuff. Uh, so hopefully this, this time, I'm definitely I'm going to get to see the baby, and the baby's going to be moving, cause it starts moving this week, so week nine, they start like twitching and all that good stuff. Um, so week 10, the baby should be moving a little bit more, um, and I'll, hopefully I'll be able to see the heartbeat. And, um, so that's August 11th, so I'm going to have to update you guys on Sunday, I'm going to update you on Tuesday, so know that it's going to be a late update. Um, what else? I know I'm forgetting something, and it's about to cut me off, so I'm going to go ahead and make part two, so I will be back.